OK, so <clears throat> nouveau day with EG and with new insights. I am also with Mia, Hello. who would be there to translate from German into English and to read, which I cannot do. So um, it seems that in this world, to be honest and to give things to people without asking any money can attract only insults, doubts. And I would say that in some countries, like the person from Germany, it's not cool to be blind because in some countries we will try to do anything to demonstrate that you're a monster, that anything you can imagine. It's quite tough. And I know that in Germany it's forbidden to say that, but the story I'm going to present like this, I don't invent it, it's a fact. <coughs> it's a fact. It's quite incredible, and I know that most of you will not believe in that, because the world is clean and perfect and nice. This is why I spend my life to save people who are starving because they don't have the right passport, because they're refugees, because uh, they live in Romania and Bulgaria and other countries like this where there's nothing to eat, at least for some people. So maybe we can start from the beginning. You read in German and then into mm -hmm. English and I will give explanations. Okay. <coughs> or maybe the first thing to explain is the man who wrote all of this. Is a man who's completely hysterical because he's jealous uh, with his girlfriend. So um, his girlfriend was fed up with him because of their private life. It's not my business. And the man started to insult me and to threat me so much that we have been to the police because he's threatening, he's, he's insulting. He's, so we saw the police that said uh, it's very bad for him because what he does is strictly forbidden. <coughs> but it doesn't matter. We have to face everything that he says to clarify everything again and again. So, so uh, he's uh, a he's in German, is it? Oh, in English okay. and also he's he's saying saying German is not uh, that you are a fake guru who is running away. So uh, he's saying that I'm running away. And I take the, air, the airplane every two weeks or every month because I go to help people in a lot of different countries. And strangely enough, because I had some problems uh, with Germany, <coughs> with an association that doesn't tolerate too well the blind people, especially when you exist and what you try to be free. In my house in front, there was a fire, you know, just at the door, the doormat was, two doormats were burning in front of my house. And the door started to burn, but finally a neighbor stopped this. <coughs> uh, and then we have been to the police to complain. So if I were wanted by the police and going to complain with my passport and everything, um, how could it be possible that I have been to the police in my town about a week ago because some people tried to burn my house, which is a little bit negative, especially because I'm guilty of being blind. And uh, I go to the police to complain. You can, I mean, no, you cannot check, but I could prove it because I had a complaint uh, about a week ago. Yeah. Yeah, more like a week ago. Yes, and Mia was with me and she even signed in that because the police was asking, oh, you are the, the guy, could you sign as well? And she said, yes. So we signed both of us. So if the police are, one, are, are looking for me and they are not talented because a week ago I was in the office, it's just defamation. Defamation because I try to exist because I'm blind and that is forbidden. Oh, it's bad in Germany. Um, a warning against this liar of our time. Also a research and telling about my own experiences in three parts. Part one. Blinding the others, you know, he's doing a lot game like he's yeah. cheating. Um, so he's saying that in a newspaper article, it's written that because of diabetes, you are nearly blind. Which is absolutely true. <coughs> I was nearly blind before being captured and being in jail. 
I was in jail because I acted against injustice. Of course, when you act against injustice, sometimes the justice doesn't appreciate. Okay, that's the game. So um, I was hiding in a country, Malta, where I protected a lady that was tortured by her parents and also because I protected refugees. Therefore, I attracted the attention. In spite of being in danger, I went on protecting the people. And this is why I was arrested. I went to, to jail because the police wanted me for a lot of stuff. Finally, when the judge I was just only for violence because I gave a slap to a man who was fucking my girlfriend in front of my kid, four years old. So maybe it's bad, maybe it's good. You will decide for yourself. And when I was in jail, I had such a bad treatment that I lost everything from my eyes. I had only the right eye that could work a little bit. And when I left the jail, I went uh, for surgery in emergency. But unfortunately, they couldn't save my right eye. That was the only one that could work. The left eye is still working. <coughs> uh, I can see slightly a difference with the sun if I am outside between the day and the night. It is not enough to see something, even a shape. I just can make the difference normally between the day and, and the night. That's all. That's the only thing I can see. Um, was this suddenly getting blind perhaps the reason that he didn't have to go to jail? No. First of all, I went to jail and it was the end of the year when I was judged, uh, judged again and they said, no, no, you're not a guru, you're not that, you're not that. Okay, just the slap and the violence. All right, because I gave a good slap, obviously. <coughs> and, uh, but I was in jail and after a year, I was free, but unfortunately at the end of this time, my, my, my right eye was getting completely, completely foggy, you know. So when I went out, you can check as well, it's easy to check, I had an operation an emergency, a surgery in emergency, that didn't succeed. Uh, the, the, the surgery was fine, but two or three days afterwards, with the virus, I had an infection and the eye died completely. That was just after Christmas. It was my present for Christmas. And in spite of this, people just go on insulting me because I was protecting refugees and taking a lot of risks in Malta because I was protecting a lady that was insulted by her mother but you know what? I'm the bad one. And the others, they are the good ones. Yeah, sure. And then he says, in this case, it would be a very lucky coincidence of destiny. Yes. So there, again, is insulting as he's just projecting something that he is supposing. It's based on nothing apart from jealousy and insults. That's how we behave in Germany against somebody who is blind. Wow, super cool to insult the blindness itself. Wow, congratulations, Peter. In 2012-13, somebody who was really stupid must have called him to Berlin, the high place about mantras, tantras, yogis, and uh, configuration theorists. And I don't practice any mantra. I don't practice any yoga, I don't practice any whatever. Uh, I did martial arts, Tai Chi Chuan and yoga in the past. Now with the blindness, it's more difficult. So there are a lot of stuff I stopped. <coughs> and the rest are just insults, absolute insults. Because he's jealous about his girlfriend and because I'm blind. Let's go on to insult the guy who is blind. Let's use that. Um, since this time, and hopefully not so long anymore, he's uh, acting there. Which is again a complete lie, because Mia can testify, I act in Morocco, I act in Bulgaria, I act in Romania, I act in Italy, I act in uh, Germany, I act in Poland, I act in Czech Republic, uh, so in Ireland, what's yeah, wrong? Um, Romania, the other side of Romania, it. yes. Yeah, we have been to Bulgaria and to nearly every country in, in Europe and in Morocco. So, Spain, so the point is, how is it that I can be always be acting in Germany 
one, I am very often in France and I'm very often in a lot of other countries. So how is it that I am always acting in Germany? Even that is a lie. Even if I have nothing to justify it, even this is based on an absolute lie. And everybody who knows me in Berlin knows that I'm never there. <laughs> yes. Because we're always traveling together. Because she's my guide. As I am not really blind, I need a real guide <laughs> because I'm not really blind. Just for the pleasure, you know. I pay two tickets instead of one just for the fun. Yeah. Um, he must have felt very well in Berlin, how you c what you can see, because he has 141 YouTube videos that he's publishing there since August 2014. Just imagine. Okay, that that is partly true, at least for that. Uh, no, because I must have at least one third in other countries. But it is true that most of the time I have people who are able to help me um, to publish films in Germany. So yes, I started to publish more films from Germany because I had some friends who were ready to help me there, which is never easy as I'm not really blind, you know, I need the help of other people. Uh, so Mia is not always available to publish everything because she does already a lot of stuff for me. So it's fair and democratic all that when I go to a country where I know I trust more people, I ask these people to do the film. So yes, it's true that in spite of traveling, I do, or at least we finish, we do the films in other countries, but we finish very often the films in Germany. Sorry, it's not part. Right. Yeah. Um, just imagine a blind person and, you know, in the par parentis, no, in yeah, the brackets, of course. produces eight to ten videos per month. This is really weird. That is absolute discrimination. So because I'm blind... And, and not, he's not allowed to publish videos. Or I cannot produce films. Because I'm blind, I have no friends. I have no one who can take a film like now, but you realize the fascism that we express. Here it's fascism to express it for that. So I'm going to be very specific. Fascism in German means that you are with the SS, that you are with Hitler. But in English, fascism means discrimination because the Germans during the war were specialized in discrimination against blind people, Jews and so on. So it is in this way that I say fascism. That is to say, you express the fact that because I'm blind, I don't have the right to publish films. But what are you talking about? You realize what you're saying. That Hitler is your friend, my friend. You're not part of Hitler, blah, blah, blah. But Hitler is your friend. I'm sorry to say that. You behave like them in the past. And if, you are, if I were from Germany, I would avoid such a speech. So I repeat clearly. I don't mean that because I say that you're fascistic, you are with Hitler, with the party of SS. But you behave, you discriminate any handicapped person exactly as they did during the time. If you don't know about it, inquire about the past and you will see how we can put things together like that. But I never said that you're part of a fascistic movement. No, no, you just act like them in the past. It's very different. It's worse because you hide your actions, but it doesn't matter. Go on. Uh, he really loves a lot himself and wants to send a lot of videos or something like this. So because I'm blind, I have to hate myself. Because I speak, because I want to explain what I found, because I have nothing to do in my day. So I act for the world. I try to help people and I try to reveal the truth. But every time I meet a lie, I want to express clearly, that is bad. Is it, am I talking always about myself or am I talking about my surrounding? Where did you see a film about me, me, me talking about me? It's an absolute lie again. Please have a look. On, your f on his first video that he uploaded on YouTube, The Blind Samurai. Impressive, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't even, I'm not even sure that it was the first one. I so don't know. Okay. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Especially the music that is reminding a lot the music of Wagner. So there, it's a very polite form of German process to express that I have something to do with the SS, you know, because I love the music of Wagner. 
So Which is, by the way, just any music. <laughs> yes, <laughs> by the way, you will learn that it is your pitiful. It's not at all a music of Wagner, so you know nothing about music. It is just a music that, you, because I respect the laws, me, so it's a music that you have the right to use on the internet without having problems. So it's just the music from the internet or whatever, yeah. where you don't have to pay copyright because I respect the laws. But then, just because of that, I'm guilty, but how can you dare talking like this? It was even that? me choosing the music that yeah, yeah. she said it's all right because it was just any music that fits a little bit. Um, as if Leni Riefenstahl was doing the, you know, deciding what to put in the film. Yeah, of course, yes. You see the insults everywhere just because I use echolocation and because I'm blind. But German people react. You react because it's not happening in another country than Germany. And incredible propaganda. Um, propaganda because um, uh, um, our friend, uh, the man who did that, uh, never stopped puking on uh, East Germany and the propaganda of East Germany, where he has been always insulting the East Germany, saying that anyone who does something in Germany is was before in East Germany is in help uh, and is helped by the newspapers of East Germany that were East Germany before. So he spends his day puking on East Germany, that is to say, on half of Germany. Yeah. You heard I him. heard that, yeah, I was there when he said all this. But they all work together. And so yes, and it's not an, only in front of two people. He said that in at least in front of 10 or 12 yeah, people. Yeah, we had a whole meeting about that. Yes, and he, he was always insulting Germany in front of a lot of people who can testify. That's the guy who is insulting me because I am blind. Or because I use echolocation. Yeah, it reminds me, or it's in the way that it in the past, the weekly shows in the Third Reich. So there is clearly talking to me uh, as if I were part of Hitler. Yeah. So of course, with that, I have been to to police. Yeah. And this man will have a lot of problems because in Germany there are laws. I hope so. And when um, a German is expressing a little bit too much his intolerance about blind people, uh, maybe the justice are going to, is going to answer on that. Well, we saw a policeman who said, that he's not a judge, he just gave that as an information, he said he risks uh, two years of jail with that. Now, yeah. what will happen really when we go further into the justice and so on, we will see, but I can just tell you, what the policeman said, and at the same time he said, I'm not a judge, I just give you an information. With that, he risks two years of jail. Yeah. But it's, it's, I would be very interesting, interested to see if, if German people are going to insult him on his, on his um, blog, saying, but do you realize what you're saying? Um. This video is praising, praising, is praising, like when you praise God, mm -hmm. praising um, the blind samurai who calls himself blind samurai, like a messiah, because he can see in spite of being blind. It's incredible. That, that his way to express that I claim to miracles and so on. I explained what echolocation is and if this little asshole was intelligent enough to go and see the other things I was explaining and teaching for free how to use echolocation, how to develop echolocation. No miracle. It's like if I was saying yeah. that's a miracle because you can play violin or guitar. Especially because in the video you just say that at no point you just call it, you just I mean you just show what you can do. Exactly, that's all. I never I said, mean, I'm fantastic, I'm marvelous, I'm a messiah. Fuck off. Is it forbidden to show what you can do? Then you're not allowed to upload a video about dancing or whatever you do. I should be ashamed to see a little bit with echolocation because, because I'm blind. So I have to hide myself because I'm blind. But do you realize what you're saying, people? What a shame. We remember that... 
in the newspaper it was written that he was nearly blind because of diabetes. Yes, absolutely. That is true. That was before the jump. And this was in 2009-2010. Then, the earliest, at around 2011 or 12, he he could have started to learn echolocation. Um, I don't understand what he means. He means that in the newspaper it was written that he were nearly blind at around 2009-2010. So, of course, he couldn't learn echolocation before. So, you could only learn it at perhaps... 2011 or 12, if you got blind 2009 yeah, yeah, yeah. or 10. That's logical. Yeah. Um, so, please do a comparison and look at this video, which is a video about Ben Underwood, who died in 2009, who was learning echolocation from his childhood on for many years. You know what I'm saying? That yes, and there, uh, again, it's uh, absolute stupidity. Because when you become blind, you develop a lot of sensibility. Therefore, um, echolocation is something that is much, much easier than to learn Braille, for instance. So now it is true that I practice less echolocation, so I'm less good. But still, I can recognize easily a car, a house, whatever else. Um, so it happens that I was not born like this. In 1966, I started to practice martial arts that I practice intensely all my lifetime. So I have a higher reflexes. I am able to adapt very quickly. And then uh, it's true that I lost my eyes, uh, my eyesight slowly. So at one point when I lose completely my eyesight, or nearly completely, um, apart from the light, as I explained before, it's true that the, the years before prepared me with the martial arts I did for 40 years in a crazy way, like eight hours a day. Of course, I'm quicker than the others. Of course, I have a better concentration. I mean, if not, then why, why did I practice for such a long time? And when you discover echolocation, the battery in the complete bla- uh, darkness, it is fantastic. It's marvelous. So you concentrate on that. You do that from the morning to the evening. You don't stop because it's a new toy, a new hop to manage better your life. Yeah, and I saw you doing it. I mean, each time we were waiting for a bus or a train or whatever we did, we were training and trying to understand. And In the train station. Just your surrounding, going to the walls or the, the lanterns or whatever was there to find out how far they are, how it sounds and so on. I was always playing, and not in the house, but most of the time in the airports, in the trains, and in the bus station, because I always travel. And I also started to teach echolocation to a lot of people for free. For free. I never asked for one euro. It's even worse. Every time that I could invite somebody in a house, wherever it was, to teach echolocation, because the people are blind and that uh, it's not always easy to be blind in the society, I invited the people and I paid for them the stay, the food accommodation. And then I told for free, I've never been asking for one euro. Never. It's even the opposite. Then he says, here, have a look on the video of the uh, guy who found echolocation, Daniel Kish, and another video of his best student. After watching all those videos, Please compare how natural and without looking, I mean, poetic, I mean, because it's not really looking, mm. Ben Underwood is able to throw the ball into the net. And how Itchy, Itchy, Itchy's eyes are following the ball when he tries to do the same. Are you still convinced that Itchy... Um, I'm convinced that Ichi is, in the best case, just nearly blind. But how much is nearly? So there, again, insulting. Um, First of all, you have to understand that um, when you don't see, the eyes are still moving, you know, because because your eyes have muscles and they are still moving. And in the case of Ben and the Wood, for instance, he had plastic eyes, so of course his eyes are not moving at all. But otherwise, your eyes are, are moving, you know. 
Uh, and when you click, you have to click in the direction. The first lesson I had about echolocation from a teacher, I, when you're blind, you always look at down, but every blind does that. And I started to click like this and he said, no, because if you do that, you are going to have the, the feedback of the pavement, of the road. You have to click in the direction of what you want to get. If you want to, to go up, then you have to click up. It's like a gun, you target with your tongue, uh, with your mouth. So, I mean, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. Now that the others don't react with the eyes, yes, because their eyes um, are completely dead. So my eyes, if you look at that, maybe you can see the right one is completely white, uh, completely dead. And it was the eye that when I was kneeling was giving me 99% uh, of what I could see. And already there I was classified as blind. And the left one is very weak. Uh, but I suppose both eyes, I can do that and that right, left, because, because my eyes are still alive in the muscles. So if I click in a direction, it's absolutely normal. Even if I don't see, my eyes are going to go where I want to click. Because I don't click at random up left. I know that I want to go there. So even if it's useless, my eyes are going there. I look. And then I have the answer. But I don't turn my head at random. So it's a complete lie just insulting people just because mr blah 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 wants to fuck his girlfriend but fuck your girlfriend i have nothing to do with that leave me in peace stop insulting somebody who worked very hard to get a better situation because he's blind it's horrible Go on. Mm. how much is nearly have a look yourself this even Ben Underwood wouldn't have been able to do. And even the best echolocator wouldn't be able to do to recognize a ball of table tennis with a click with a frequency of maximum 150 hertz. I can remind you that bats and dolphins have to use echolocation to, to uh, recognize this kind of really quick movements like the one of a ball of table tennis absolutely correctly. absolutely so a dolphin is using a, a maximum of 1000 clicks a second which i cannot do i do one click every two seconds and if you watch the film very carefully you will see that in that case i'm not using the clicks at all because it's too quick and i never pretended to use the clicks when i do table tennis i use the martial arts i use 40 years of experience of work I calculate on three things that of course you cannot understand the noise on the racket that is used the noise on on the table that is giving me a direction and of course that you cannot understand the chi the energy that is uh, the intention of the one who is playing in front of me um, and also to add and to be clear so that it is not uh, the one who is playing with me is a friend and uh, she is doing everything to do something very nice. I never said that I play table tennis like a champion. What I do is quite uh, fantastic. I can prove it because you need to insult it. Uh, but it stays in an easy situation, of course, because somebody is giving me um, the answer that I want. And it's somebody with whom I'm, worked, I'm used to work a lot. So I know, I know her, her habits, I know her, her energy. So with this intense contact and with the noises of the table and, and the, the ball on the racket, I calculate and I try to do my best. And I never said that it is with the clicks. You lie completely again. You manipulate, you take the information as you want. You turn it the way you want, as long as you can enjoy to insult somebody who is blind and who has been working to improve his situation. Yeah, and if you have a look in the video, you will see that he's not clicking in this moment. Exactly. So even there, you give wrong information to mix people and to insult me. It's quite... Talking about blindness or darkness, you're quite dark, my friend. I can tell you that. Go and fuck or masturbate. I don't know, but leave me in peace. I'm, I'm sorry if your girlfriend doesn't like you anymore. You know, manage with her. I have nothing to do with that. 
It just it happens that very often when I go to Germany, I go to sleep in the house uh, of of his ex girlfriend because I have it's an easy access for me and and that's all and because uh, this girl is a friend but she's not my girlfriend and even if it's not his business if she prefers me but it's not even the case she is not at all my girlfriend but jealousy is pushing you to do anything dirty that you will have to answer to the police because there are laws in germany you know yeah you're not allowed to say just anything you want about somebody especially like you yeah go on um so the result itchy cannot be completely blind um how much he sees really i don't know and and i have to specify that his ex-girlfriend met me in fact it's even funny because yeah, it's her who, told, yes. who showed you the it's it's his ex-girlfriend who presented to me a film from Ben Underwood. And when she presented that, I said, no, that's a scam, it's impossible. But I'm not like this man, so I did a lot of research with my friends on the internet. I spent days and days on the internet to discover. Then I found um, Daniel Kish that I contacted at once, at once. And I was even ready to go to America to learn with him. Finally, he was not free, it was complicated, and I met a teacher from Belgium. I paid the journey and so on, so, and I paid the workshop. So if I'm not blind, if I don't need a collocation... Why should you <laughs> do yes. all this effort yes, for that? Yes, yes. And, uh, and the, the, the girl, Jess, uh, your ex-girlfriend, who doesn't want to talk to you anymore, she, she knows me since years. She has been traveling with me in a lot of countries. Uh, but she was not alone, she's not my girlfriend, and even if, fuck off. Um, and, uh, and she saw me in a lot of situations, and she can testify absolutely that I am blind. Like at least 20 people here, and at least 50 people in Italy, and at so many people. This is such an easy insult. It's, ah, I swear. Yeah. Um, how much you see, I cannot say. But obviously, he still sees well enough to be able to play table tennis with his nearly blind eyes. He is ending the first part, blinding. I hope you are um, interested about the next two parts of my little trilogy about the criminal guru. Criminal guru. So there you will have to answer about this injustice. Yeah. Yes, because that is again an insult. You know, I am with uh, Hitler, I am a criminal guru. You will have to answer to all of this in front of the court. P.S. Not only for parents of blind kids, and then he gives the link to World Access uh, for the Blind. For the Blind. And about this topic, perhaps, perhaps just two other videos. And then it's a German video about new ways for blind kids. Yeah, and on that. I would like to insist about something, again, to be absolutely clear. It is that um, um, Daniel Kish is a friend. I mean, I was, we were very often in contact. We had a lot of mails. And uh, I know also some other people in the world of echolocation. It happens that even if Daniel Kish is extremely talented, and there is his uh, student, Juan something, I've forgotten his name, yeah, from South America and is a teacher in um, Australia, no, uh, Austria, Austria, yeah. Um, so they have a fantastic level, that is, there's nothing to say, you know, the, the one from, uh, from um, Juan, who is in, very often in Austria, he, he had even a record in um, riding a bike for the Guinness, so there's nothing to say about this, they have a fantastic level, but the lessons are very expensive. And strangely enough, um, no one is going to criticize this. Personally, every time I taught and I challenge anyone to say the opposite, I have never been asking for one euro. Never. I have been to the lost countries like Romania, like Bulgaria, where they have not one euro to teach that. I was in an association in Sofia, 
in the big association for blind people where I taught self-defense because I practice a lot of martial arts and echolocation. Yeah, and we even invited two blind people to our house to exactly. practice echolocation and we hosted them and I and remember that because everything. we of course also had to care about them, to help them. And yes, and I was asking some other friends, of course, to, 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 to be absolutely available for when they wanted to call. There is one who was learning with Mia who took a lot of time as well yeah. to learn <laughs> for uh, his iPhone. iPhone and he was always, always asking, which was a pleasure for Mia and, and we never asked for one euro. So at one point I was getting used not to be seen because I was surrounded only by blind people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we hosted them and we did everything we could do to make their life better. So and it's we not didn't take one euro for and that. And it's not only in Germany, we did that also in Bulgaria, we did that in Romania, we had people in Morocco. That is, so you have noticed a long list of countries that are not very rich. So if I want to get clients to make money, uh, I would go to other countries. Yeah, and you even offered in Bulgaria that you would pay some online sessions for the Bulgarians. Absolutely. They wanted to learn also with uh, Daniel Kish, I mean, in, in his uh, um, School. the association uh, World Access for the Blind. And we, I even paid so that they could have lessons directly on YouTube, on, on Skype, uh, with the teachers of, uh, of World Access for the Blind. Finally, um, they didn't do because the connections couldn't work in Bulgaria, but I even paid for that. That's, that's so incredible, you know, because I believe that the blind should have complete access. And, and let's be clear, check on the internet how many people are explaining echolocation. There's no one because it's a business. Personally, I taught everything, I showed everything I could teach about echolocation. It's explained in French, in English, in German, in Italian. And the only thing that you have to do, you, is to insult me. You who does nothing. You who owes a lot of money to the taxes of Germany. You who, don't work, who doesn't work, who you don't work. It's, it's, it's fantastic, but it's so easy to insult, based on nothing manipulating elements it's dark it's so dark i feel ashamed for you people i really feel ashamed for you anyway we memorized of course everything because very soon your films will be deleted because the police will react on everything you said so it will take a little while not too long don't worry and then you will have to answer in front of the justice by the way you will have to answer in the justice because you've been asking because you worked in the black, in black, uh, as a lawyer, and you've been asking the money to be put on the on the bank account of your son, a lot of dark stuff to steal money and to avoid to pay the taxes. I'm afraid with the fact that the taxes have now, they are not going to appreciate at all your sense of humor. So you are there to teach justice and honesty to everyone, and I challenge you to tell me what you have done in your life to help, and I will tell you what I have done in my life to help. And then we meet. And you met me, to finish. You met me. You met me in a restaurant. Yourself, you took my hand to shake hands with me. Yourself, you helped me for the drink. You know perfectly well that I am blind because I was in front of you with two other witnesses. And after that, you don't speak about this, you know? You just puke your, your poison, but there's nothing you say about the meetings about about and when I met you it was to try to talk to you to relax you and your girlfriend because you were in complete war and when I left the restaurant after giving three hours without asking one euro to you because I do everything uh, because of love because I believe in people not because of money you said thank you very much EG for your help because you relaxed the situation you remember me yeah? I know you were not there, there. I, it was it was another one Michael who was there because as I am blind, I, I move with the help of somebody. So there was Michael, there was Jess, there was uh, this other guy. And, uh, and this guy said in front of the two others, thank you very much for your help. You relaxed a lot the situation. You forget to speak about all of this. You just spit your, vomit, your venom. 
I hope that one day you wake up from your darkness, that one day I can say you open your eyes and you look at your life, at your actions and everything that you did. The waking up is going to be very, very painful. Not because I I'm threatening you. No, no, I don't care about you. I believe in the justice. They will look at you. But if you, one day, you wake up from what you do, what you say, wow, it's going to be really dark, really painful. I really feel sorry for you. In spite of being so dark, to be to that level of, of insults, I really feel sorry. That's the only thing I can tell you. And I would like to specify something that is very important to finish, very important, is that I did as well a film with some friends where I showed the echolocation um, with a system of torch to show how it works, to give the idea. I mean, it was a way to give the idea. I click and at the same time I push on the torch to give the feeling that for half a second you see the light. So if you imagine that I'm blind, not maybe not completely blind, I am in this film in the complete darkness. I have my glasses that are dark, you know, and I'm going to click and to move in the house to do a lot of stuff with the clicks and with the light. And in spite of this, I see. That I will present to you as well to show you how this man is able to take what he, whatever he wants to manipulate but he's very talented to forget a lot of other stuff. Um, that is really dark, really dark. I feel sorry for you. I love to be an actor. So I specify that, as he said, that I'm always in Germany. In, in two days, I'm leaving for Romania. I'm leaving with, um, for Romania, where I go with enough money to help some kids who are starving. They are freezing in the snow, they are starving. I go with my money, I took personally 600 euros because I'm not that rich. Mia, she get 200 euros and some other people, they get a little bit, 50, 100. And we go with the money and we're going to try to help an association that is fighting to protect these kids that are starving and freezing. So instead of insulting me, you should come with me to Romania. You know, and use your time and your clever brain to help kids and to take position in this dark world. Goodbye. As you can see in a in another in another film, there was a post, a blog, that happened by a guy named Franz, which is my ex-boyfriend, and um, this is a very very disgusting story, and. Um, I want to testify a couple of things and, and everybody of us wants to, yeah, because um, this whole story is very, very disgusting. So um, I will start with the situation at the restaurant because luckily enough, I can say that I was there and I saw the whole conversation. I was there the whole conversation. Um, so it was a conversation of about two hours where E.T. was nice enough to come because Franz and me, we were a couple at that time and we had very, very we had big problems. So E.T. was so nice to come and to speak to us. And for two hours or even longer, it, it might have been even longer, it was a very long conversation. So he comes, he's nice to speak with us. And I saw afterwards Franz coming down a little bit and he even said thank you. He said thank you very much because he was very happy for this conversation and I can testify that he never asked for any money for this conversation. He was just nice. He just wanted to help because he could see that we had big problems and I can testify that Franz saw very well that evening that Ichi is blind because there was a situation where he helped him with the glass so he could see clearly and he reacted in a way like his body answered in a way that he said i know that you are blind therefore he saw that ichi is blind and so that's the first thing i i wanted to testify yeah and i would testify this as well because i gave um, uh, a lift to the restaurant and uh, 
was there for the conversation and um, yeah, I saw how patient Digi was with um, him to clarify the situation and uh, calm him down and um, that um, yeah, he uh, finds relaxed and they um, um, and he was very happy and was very thankful for um, that he showed up and uh, they had a conversation about this and he looked after their um, relationship um, trouble and um, he I saw as well that he noticed that um, he's blind and behaves like this so why saying the opposite now yeah um, I mean, I was not there in the restaurant, but I know that um, bec because Franz, he offered to me to help me in um, a fight of justice where um, to help me because he wanted to fight against injustice because Ichi was um, aggressed by someone and he offered that and he was clearly against this injustice and now he's acting in this low trick behavior where he clearly he knows that uh, Ichi is blind and goes now and to present something like this just because of his personal problems in relationship to be become completely crazy but apart from this then afterwards even to ask money for what he did what is completely illegal by the way but so first he's absolutely on um, in, in a way that he finds everything insulting and unjust is it the right word yeah yeah unfair and unfair and because of this he acts and he offers help but either it was just a lie or he became completely crazy and fanatic because of his personal problems um, of relationship on jealousy and something yeah and um, um, I propose jealousy because um, I can say clearly um, oh no first of all I want to say I find it too to 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 argue like this to 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 use the blindness and to to say something like this about each blindness I found that like Diana said a very very low down trick low and dirty yeah that's so cheap and it's disgusting it's just and um, he knows better he's just pretending um, that it's um, the other way around yeah I mean if somebody has already a such a handicap not to be able to to see anymore and losing um, the eyesight then you have already you have such you have already a life that is much much different and that is not as our life i cannot even imagine how it is and how it feels to be blind and then even that somebody comes and insults and say it's not true you are not blind you still see because you what do you think shit. yeah and um, um according to me it is like this because um franz is obsessed about about possible guys who might possibly have sex with me and I can give you a story that happened before there's a friend that I met to practice to practice echolocation actually we will speak about that too but um, we met to practice because alone you cannot practice so you need at least two people and um, so we met and afterwards I received an email where Franz was threatening and he said, uh, if you if you don't want that I beat you up and that I beat this guy up, then you better bring this guy to my to my home, to my place, to my house, so that um, he presents the story to me because then I will see that he is lying completely. And anyway, I'm absolutely sure that you had sex with him and that you are lying to me and that he's lying to me and so on and so on and so on and so on. And it's only one story of of a lot of stories that happened with him and it's it, it it's just like this he's he's obsessed about this and as EG um, he's traveling a lot and when he's in Germany he sometimes stays at my house and I don't know how Franz found out about this but this is why he is mad about EG this is why 
and for the rest what 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 is he talking about and this is really disgusting and about echolocation i want to say something because actually i was the one who found the film about ben underwood and i showed this film to ichi and in the beginning he was he was skeptic skeptical he was he was not sure if it's a scam or not but then he started to inquire and then he started to contact people and then he started to get books and then he started to practice i saw that i was i was around and um, he kept practicing a lot a lot a lot there was even a teacher coming the teacher was coming from abroad and he stayed for 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 a couple of days couple of maybe one or two weeks i don't remember and to practice to to teach so because Ichi wanted to learn this and he practiced a lot and um, he paid money from his pocket because he wanted to learn and then later on I was there when he invited people from Bulgaria so that Ichi could teach to them echolocation and again he invited them they came Ichi paid for them and Ichi taught to them echolocation for free and um, I witnessed this I was there I was there I saw everything and um, I'm sorry what what is he talking about I saw this mm, I can too. testify this as well I saw him quite all the time but um, learning from the teacher and then teaching to the um, guys from Bulgaria yeah, I'm, and exactly how um, Nas just say it was completely for free and just to give others the possibility to learn this method as well and not from asking money. No, these uh, the people were even invited. Yeah. So this whole story is very low and I personally find it very guilty. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely disgusting and cheap. And um, I don't know if I mentioned already that Franz asked me for 500 euros afterwards after he was helping. Yeah. Yeah. On the bank account of his son. To, and he really blackmailed yeah, about this. Yeah. Hello, so I want to talk about a commentary that Itchy and I wrote on the blog of Franz today and that weirdly enough kind of disappeared. How is that possible? Well, I guess he deleted it. Um, so for this reason, I just want to let you know what we wrote so that it's not lost. And then perhaps you will have an idea why he deleted this comment. So it's in German, so don't be surprised if I hesitate a bit about the words because I'm like instantly translating it. And we said, hello, Franz, I want to let you know that we have been to the police station today. Um, they were telling us that for what you did, the highest um, the highest punishment that you can get is up until two years of prison because you're saying things that are not true and you're giving the things on your blog that are not true against the G and also Jess has been to the police and we have also been to the tax office and we have three witnesses for the fact that you were asking for money for advice about law while you do not even have any diploma about that. You just decided yourself to be a lawyer. And because of your jealousy, you are obsessive, but in Berlin and in Germany there are still laws and it's not possible to just say anything you say just because you are jealous against the chief. Yeah, that was what we uh, wrote, I mean, more or less, it was in German, but... And what you, friends just deleted. 
So, let's just let everybody know. Bye bye. Let's see now how a blind person perceives the world with echolocation. You need such a concentration yeah. that it is written. And I think it's the point to understand, you see. Uh, in Germany, um, they <coughs> practice a lot the discrimination against blind people, yeah. uh, handicapped people as well. I mean, the other, I speak about blindness. And um, there is nearly an impossible challenge. It's so difficult, so difficult. So you have the training of echolocation, which is the most powerful. You have some electronic devices that can help you to, to perceive the world a little bit better. Now I don't have any, but sometimes I use some of them to perceive the world even better because it's more uh, secure. You have the development of the practice of everything I did in the martial arts to feel the energy, to feel the presence, to be precise in everything you do. One day you can do it. One day you do what is absolutely impossible. You start to step out of the darkness and you can see in spite of not having eyes. And you know what? When you do that, <clears throat> and that you start to go out, to do stuff because you want to practice, you want to be useful, you want to use what you have, the Germans, they slap you. They kick you away. You're blind, go back home. And everything that you did, this impossible victory that I had, is just sent back to you like a dagger into your stomach and from that you're absolutely done because the power of the victory of what you did goes back against you and is absolutely killing you and I must say that today I am really thinking of committing suicide or it's just impossible maybe the only place where I can have a little bit of light will be when I am dead maybe that the only possibility to go back to the light and to break this darkness is to die. Because with everything I did, I cannot recreate my eyes. I can recreate some, some stuff I can do. A collocation, I can buy, invest a lot of money for some super technical devices. It's, they are super cool. But even with everything, a collocation and everything I have, in the best I have, 5%, 10% of somebody who can see. So, we will be always inferior, we'll be always rejected, we'll be always um, judged. Honestly, the wound I have in my stomach now is just too deep. Blindness and the, 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 the discrimination of Germany, it's, it's too heavy to my stomach, it's too much. 
I have to step again of the darkness. The darkness of the blindness and the darkness of Germany. At one point, you accept the power. You accept this power of discrimination, of rejection. And then you don't need the gas chamber. You will do it yourself. Okay, it's enough. I don't want to speak about this. Anymore.